So there is this new man and, and this old man, and this is what the new creature is talking about. This is one verse that a lot of people go to to sort of show that... Um, If you're saved, there will be some change. Uh, this is one that we hear a lot, 2 Corinthians 5.17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. So people will read that verse and they'll say, see, if any man be in Christ, you're a new creature. So, so that's why if you believe on Jesus Christ, things are going to be new, things are going to change, you're not going to be the same person as you were before. But is this verse actually saying that the Christian as a whole, both body, soul, and spirit, will is, is this is what this verse is teaching. Because if we read the whole verse, it says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So that little phrase there on the end, it says, Behold, all things are become new. Is this verse talking about the Christian as a whole? Well, it can't be. Because we still sin, not all things are new. So some things are still old, so we need to understand why are some things still old, because we still have the, we have the spirit, but we also have the flesh. And what this verse is referring to is that new creature, is that new man that is born of God that cannot sin. And we'll see some of those verses as we uh, continue today. So the, the big question really is, um, if works are the evidence of faith, then how much works do I need to have before I'm sure my faith exists? Because if I'm trying to judge whether or not I have faith based on the amount of works I have, well then the next logical question is, well, how much works do I need to have in order for that to prove that my faith is there? If that's the way I'm going to try and prove that my faith exists or prove to myself that my faith exists. So we can see here in this verse, if we were to ask that question, well, it's saying all things are become new. So this verse is not going to act as a, a, pro like a proving to me that works is an evidence of my faith because then it would only prove to me that I don't have faith because not all things are new. So you see how they, they turn to verses to sort of uh, support, you know, if you have works, you're saved. But what we're going to see as we go through a couple of these common verses is that not, these verses would not actually... Uh, I guess ensure that your faith is there, but it would actually condemn you for not having enough works to prove that your faith is there.